that's what we're shooting for. We're shooting to make a better quality Kiko, and that's what we're trying to do. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Bodark Kiko's. This is Josh. And uh, what I want to do today is I want to show you guys these two bucks that we've raised. They're New Zealand's, and uh, I think that they're just top. I think they're going to be some top quality bucks. We have raised these bucks up, and we are selling them as a herd size. But uh, we're going to get some weights on them. I'm going to show you guys these bucks. These are what we are looking for in a Kiko. They have got good size to them. They have a good bone and uh, they're twin brothers. I keep getting interrupted by the chicken. It's all right though. But these guys are, are kind of what we're looking for. They've got that long body. They're wide. They got a good bone structure to them. I think they're going to be really good herd sires. They continue to impress us um, as they're growing. So uh, let's go in here and check them out. So the scales that we're using are the AA scales, the V6, BS600, I believe. So these scales right here that we use, they're pretty good. They're affordable. I've done a video on these. Um, we keep them stored over here in a little building, but Joe's getting them out. We got them set up to where we can put them in this little bitty uh, area so we can run one goat in there and get their weight. And uh, here's, here's what the little setup looks. So these two buck kids, they're megawatt kids, and out of their, uh, they're out of a New Zealand doe. Um, she's a big frame doe, but you can see that what megawatt and what this doe did, they transferred that right to these kids. I mean, check out the, check out the chest on this buck kid. He's long. He's got good bone to him. He's going to make a nice herd sire. So these bucks are only about five months old. And uh, they just kind of hit a growth spurt here recently. Just really sprout out, looking good. And uh, we're going to keep them for a couple more months or a couple more weeks. And they're heading off to their new home. All right, we got it zeroed out. So we'll run one buck in, put him in on the scale, see what he weighs. Well, I'll get a little boy. I didn't get him. Yeah. I gotta have my gate. So you've seen it, we got him on the scale. He's 84.2 right now, so that's a good weight for a, a good young buck. Like I said, these, <laughs> these bucks continue to grow and do well. Uh, they, they're potential herd sires for sure, and that's what we're, we're letting them go as. So the, he was, we knew he was a little bit smaller, but uh, he's eight, 
He's about eight pounds, seven pounds lighter than his brother, but both of them are both of them are doing good, looking good, growing out good. Both of them got a good front end on them. So the title of this video is, Are These Quality Bucks? And yes, they are. They're quality bucks. They got what you want. They got that size, that width between the leg. They got the length. They're going to grow into that long body. And uh, they got the bone structure that you want. These are some quality Kiko bucks. And we're proud that we raised them here. And uh, I'm going to go out and show you the dame to these bucks i'll get a little bit of footage of megawatt but uh yes these are good bucks i would love to start a herd with these guys they're going to grow in to some nice herd sires uh, and we're proud that we raised them you might be wondering um you know how do we go about uh these bucks like what is the selection first of all when they're born they got that look they're just they just look different if you got a group of 50 you got a select few in there that could be potential herd sires. These we kept a little longer, got them up. They've really matured well. Uh, these two guys have just really grown into uh, what we like for a Kiko buck to look like. And uh, so, for instance, if we had 50 buck kids, we might only register five as potential herd sires, five or six. And uh, they've got to have everything we want that we would want ourselves as a herd sire. We've got BT, we've got Megawatt, and we think we got two really great uh, herd sires. They are already going. One's going to Oklahoma, the other one's going to South Texas, and they're going to have a herd of their own. So these two uh, buck kids right here behind me, uh, they they're going to make somebody a really nice buck. Um, you might ask kind of what what they're how they been we weaned them off their mama when they was three months old and uh we decided we was going to keep them a little longer and see how they do they was over there with all the bucks uh as they was getting older and then when we broke up breeding pastures we put them in uh by their self in here so they've they've got grass to eat we do put a little bit of hay out and uh we do give them just a little bit of feed uh, we let them have just a little bit of feed but they're mostly on this grass right here um so they've got a little bit uh helping them out but these two bucks right here uh that's what we're shooting for we're shooting to make a better quality kiko and that's what we're trying to so do the uh, dame to these buck kids is this uh doe right she's got a yellow tag it's low 22 she's a grayish colored looking doe So I showed you that doe, um, you can see her, she's got a nice uh, frame on her, but you might be wondering, did we cross her back the same way? And the answer to that is no. No, we did not. We are trying to get some does out of her, and we want to get some does to put back in our herd, and uh, we put her with BT. BT is is a great doe maker you never know what they're going to have but we're kind of shooting for a doe out of her so megawatt he is the sire to those buck kids and uh here's a he's out here with his doe herd i'll try to get a good shot of him i know you guys have seen him but i want to add him to to the uh video because he's sired he right now he's getting kind of busy he's a few does are coming in he's been breeding a couple so things are starting to kick off for breeding season and i'll have a video coming out of, about uh, breeding signs and tips like that when things really get to going.
all right guys i'm gonna close this video out uh I think that these two are going to go on to be special bucks. Uh, they're going to continue to get better and better as they're growing. And um, I just want to show you guys uh, what they look like, how they're doing. Just an example of what we're raising here. We're proud of these. And uh, you can see in our yearling crop that we got from BT, his daughters that we're breeding this year, how good they are. Our herd just continues to improve. And it takes work. It takes effort. And it takes a lot of... Uh, putting it all together and it's gonna it's paying off like these two bucks right here uh, we're going to continue to produce a better kiko that's what it's all about if we're not trying to make a better kiko a better buck a better doling then we're not doing something right so uh i'm gonna close this video out hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching uh like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one